Hey guys, and welcome back to Brexit Britain, a country that went swimming and accidentally dived headfirst into the shallow end. Hmm. And also, welcome back to By Any Means Necessary. Thank you so much for all your messages that you sent me, and a special thanks here to everyone who has signed up to my channel. I feel so blessed with so much people that have signed up, so thank you so much for that. Yeah, I'll go for all your messages, I'll answer as many as I can, but I will like all your messages for definite, even the ones who disagree with me. Right. So we'll start off in Kent, you know, one of one of um, Britain's towns that voted very, very high for the Brexit. Very, very. I mean, their vote was very, very high. You know, once they was known as the um, the Baskets. I never remember this. I never remember this. Right. It's not the bread basket. The gut. The Garden of England, I think, Kent. Yeah, the Garden of England. And now, obviously, we, we all know Kent as the Toilet of England because it's one big piss and shithole now. And we all know why. Because your damn fools voted for Brexit, right? You voted hard. In fact, you guys really voted hard for Brexit. So now, you know, the, the kids will be given, like, well, the, the families will be given a £5 voucher over the holidays, right, to feed the, to feed the starving children. Five pound voucher. Imagine that, the whole five pounds. I mean, what they're gonna? I wonder what they're gonna buy with the with the whole five pounds. Hmm. Interesting. You see, you see, Sir Ian Duncan Smith here yeah, would probably be like that. Would probably buy him. That would probably that. I don't. That might not even pay for the, the juice, right? That he he has when he drops sixty five pounds on breakfast. But I'm sure most of you people in Kent who voted for Brexit, I'm sure that you and people like Lord, uh, sorry, Sir Ian Duncan Smith, I'm sure that you and people like that are on par. So you probably, you you guys probably won't even need the five pounds, will you? I wonder how much, um, I wonder how many, yeah, people who go to food banks, right, are Tories. Do we really have, do we really have food bank Tories in this country? People who are going to the food banks uh, and voting for the Tories, <laughs> could, could there be such people? Hmm. So look, was, was, so, look, so yeah, so that's the five pound vouchers that they give that they're giving the pff, they're giving the families in Kent. You know? I mean, you know, these guys are just like you know what we're gonna you know we'll, we'll share out thirty seven billion amongst our, our our little lot. But you know, they could just they could just get a, you know, a, a fiver, La a lady Godiva. <laughs> see, 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 I am Cockney, yeah. From East London, I'm a Cockney, right? So that's a, now that, that's what it is. It's a lady Godiva, <laughs> a fiver, yeah. and they say, yeah, take that, ah, take that. <laughs> Seriously, I don't. You say, I I honestly can say that I really don't get you um you working class Tories and you benefit Tories, and are there really any food bank Tories? Could there be such a thing as a food bank Tory? Seriously, <laughs> I don't think there must be, don't it? I think there are. I think there are. In fact, I know there are. <laughs> I know there are. Right, but I'm not going to go into that today. Right, but and then in staying in Kent, right, we've got midwives in Kent working twenty-hour shifts. Imagine that a midwife working twenty-hour shifts, right, up in there. I wonder if that's got anything to do with them having a shortage right, of midwives and a shortage of NHS workers. I wonder if that could have anything to do with that. And I wonder why that could be. Could it be, yeah, because Kent was so motherfucking racist that they decided, you know what? It don't matter how good the EU's been to us, whatever subsidies we've got off of them over the last few years. You know what? We don't like them, so we don't want them here. Which, really, yeah, it's like... So, just let me explain something to you, because it's a theory that I have. <laughs> you know me with theories, <laughs> It's a very I, I think right that the upper classes right have made you you um Brexiters <laughs> Brexiters right I think that the upper classes right have made you guys purposely get rid of as much um EU EU um members as possible people from the eu as possible right and then they're setting you guys up right to do all of the um 
low skill jobs because all the low skill jobs right are open to British people now right so now yes yeah yeah it depends on how they look at it right you know it depends on how they look at the skills right but all your skill jobs now are opened up to the Europeans because you know they just have to apply right so 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 I don't know they, they're probably going to work it they're, they're probably going to work it by money right so let's just let's just take this for an example right so if the job is like say if the job is pays like say thirty five thousand pounds i don't know it might be it might be slightly more it might be slightly it might be slightly more it might be slightly less i don't know right but let's just let's just take that for example thirty five thousand pounds right the job is that much right then um anybody from around the world can apply for that job right whether they're from the EU or whether they're from you know Asia or Africa, it doesn't really matter. But, so they can all apply for that job, right? But now your jobs that are um, low earner jobs, right? Those guys are not allowed to apply for those jobs. So who is set up to do all those jobs, all the low paid jobs, right? Because remember, right? Remember we've had like years of like education, education, education. So a lot of like a lot of like the youngsters yeah have gone to university right so i don't know i listen I, I don't know about you guys right but i'm just thinking well i don't really think people are going to university right to come out and like and, and you know and work in like the supermarkets or to or to drive lorries or to or to be like kitchen porters you know or to to pick to pick fruit and vegetables you know i just don't think that these guys have gone to university to do to do that right and i don't really think that a lot of the the people that are born in this country right nowadays right are really that interested in doing those type of jobs right you know you're going to be very very hard pushed to find like people born in this country yeah, who are going to go and bend down in a field and pick fruit and vegetables you're going to be very very hard pushed in fact i just don't really think you're going to really, you know, find that much people that, um, and you know, I, you know, I don't, yeah, I don't really think you're going to find that much people that are born in this country that are prepared to do that type of work. I mean, you know, I mean, when my parents came here, yeah, right, you know, the people of this country, they didn't want to work on the, you know, they didn't work, want to work on the buses, they didn't want to work on the trains, they didn't want to work in the hospitals, they didn't want to work in uh, care for the elderly, they didn't want to do any of these type of jobs. Then, that was back then right so so you fast forward to now right and you know most of the people in this country a lot of the people in this country right, want to work from home they don't even want to go out to work right? they want to work from home right you know obviously as you know we, we as the working classes we don't really get that option right but i just can't really see i mean i just can't really see and this is the reason why right you have um midwives in kent that are doing 20 hours a day Right, shifts, right, just unbelievable. That's just like, you know, people can't work, you know, people can't work that. People can't, that's, that's, it's unacceptable, right? And you know, it's just, it's, it must be crippling to the body. It's got to be. Do you know what I mean? You know, you could, a human being can't work for 20 hours a day. That's just, you know, that is, that's totally ridiculous, right? But this is what's going on in Kent at the moment. Right? But obviously, as I said, you know, I keep saying this, this will be coming to a town near you because anything that's going on, like whether it's in Brighton, whether it's in Kent, right, these things are all coming to you. Now, you know, see with Brighton now, right? I don't even have to, I don't even, I didn't have to, I don't even have to look up to see whether or not Brighton voted, how Brighton voted, because I know Brighton would have voted to remain, right? So all of this bullshit that's going on in Brighton, Right, has been put on there by towns like Kent, who who thought who thought it was a good idea to be stupid enough to vote for a Brexit, right? That was going to destroy the country, right? So people, you know, so people in Brighton, right? You know, I'm really sorry, right? That 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 do you know what I mean? That the rest of this country decided to to do this to you because it's not it, it really is unfair because they didn't vote for this shit. They certainly wouldn't have voted for this shit. Right. So I'm really sorry that they decided to do this shit to you because you know it's you know you you didn't vote for this and you know it's not fair. It's not fair at all that it's happening to you at all. Do you know what I mean? You know it serves the people of Kent fucking right. Whatever goes on down there because you know what them motherfuckers voted for this shit. Right. But Brian, you know the people of Brighton didn't vote for this and they don't don't they don't deserve they don't deserve what's going on down there at all. You know. So look, 
at the moment, right, the government and the media are blaming the haulage companies, right, for the absolute catastrophic shit show, right, that the government and the right wing media have brought upon this country. So they're blaming the hauliers, saying, oh, well, you know, well, you know, we voted that five years ago, so the hauliers, they should have seen what was going on. Fix yourself, seriously? Seriously? Right? You know, <laughs> you know, it's not these people's fault. It's you Brexiters' fault. That's who. It's, that's whose fault it is. It's not these people's fault, right? But you know, as I said, I hope that you Brexiters, right, are happy knowing what you've done. Yet is you've set up all the Brits to do all the low earner jobs. That's all you've done. Just set them up to do all the low earner jobs, right? And now you know we've got we've got um, a shortage of supply, shortage of supply, just all over the place, right? But as a surge for goods. You know, a super surge. People want their people want their goods, and you know, on but most of the papers is, is is now saying to you, you know what? Yeah, get out there and do your Christmas shopping early. Get it all done early. But you know, I'm thinking, you know what? With all the petrol crisis, right? And um, because you know, right now, yeah, virtually every car in this country has got a full tank of petrol in it, right? So if that shit was a ploy, yeah, then it was a fucking really that was a really good ploy because everyone, right? is virtually driving with a full tank as well. Most people, when they go to, into the fuel station now, most people are filling their tank up, right? So, is it was it all a ploy, right? You know, so, so the, the petrol companies was, you know, the petrol companies and the government was just on a quick, on a, a get rich quick thing, because you know, I mean, obviously they had to get, they had to get a load of money out of us somehow. And you know, uh, you know most of the money on, on, on petrol and diesel is taxes. Right, so most of that money has gone directly to the government. Most of it has just gone directly to them. Right, so um, you know, so we have to wonder. You know what? Was it was it a good way of them just getting some, you know, billions of pounds into the into the economy just like that? Boom, because you know, because that's what's happened. Right, because we've all gone out. We've all, you know, we've, you know, we, you know, whether it's on credit card or whatever, we've all gone out and packed our cards up and our vans up with as much fuel as it can take. Right, we're just filling it up right up to the rim, up to you see, you see it, right? You see it right there. You can see the diesel and the petrol right there. Look, I can see it, right? I'm still filling. <laughs> right? So everyone, everyone's done that, right? So you know, so if it was a ploy, it was a good ploy because you know what? They've made a good. They've made billions of billions of pounds out of it, right? And um, you know, so so yeah, so and then you know, with the um, whole get out and get your toys now. Right, you know, in the last week of December, yeah, the, sorry, the, the the Christmas week of December, so like the so the twentieth, right, to the twenty fifth, to the twenty fourth, right. So those days there, right. I wonder what we're gonna have on our shelves. Whether our shelves are gonna be packed up with toys and 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 all sorts of different pork products and all sorts of different beef products and there's going to be no problem at all because it's all going to be there but what they've done is they've made everyone go and pack up their freezer right to get that money back in the, to get that money in the economy right because you know these guys are they're, they're more crafted than a motherfucker right <laughs> so that's the thing so you know all these things a lot of these things i don't know do you know what i mean because you know they tell us oh you know what there shouldn't be no scaremongering but straight away they're scaremongering <laughs> right they always say don't oh no well we won't scaremonger but straight away oh oh dude, there's a lack of toys you won't get a ps5 no listen actually actually you're not going to get a ps5 I'm telling you straight, you're not going to get a PS. Yeah, unless that, if, yeah, even if that shit is on order, and they say to you, you know what? Don't worry, your PS5 is going to be with you on the twenty third December, right? It's not going to turn up. You ain't going to get a PS5. <laughs> I'm telling you, right? That's not that's not happening. Yeah, and probably all the rest of the um, all the rest of the computers. I mean, which are where, you know, whether it's an Xbox or any any of them. I mean, I don't think you're gonna be able to get any anything like that. Right? But you know, whether or not there's gonna be other stuff around. You know, whether or not the you know on the on the twenty fourth of December, whether there's gonna be turkeys still left up in the um, supermarket is yet to be seen. But I know that I know all the frozen turkeys are getting boxed out straight away. People's like, you know what? 
They're just buying up all the frozen turkeys like they've got room, like they're rich and they've got room to keep a turkey in their freezer up until December. How big is your fucking house? <laughs> Right, yeah, right. Like you go, like you go. Unless you got, I suppose they could have one of those chest freezers, right? So just keep the bird up in there till. Do you know what I mean? So anyway, so so now we've got like um. The government is opening up to butchers. They need to get butchers in up from the EU immediately, right? But right, so far yeah, they've. Only, I, I believe they've confirmed right. That, you know, that out of the five thousand drivers. That they've um, that they've asked for so far, I believe they've confirmed there are there are um, conflicting reports, right? That it's anything between twenty and twenty seven that have actually been confirmed. Conflicting reports out of the five thousand. So I say good luck, right? With the you know I've I've heard that they're saying eight hundred, and some people are saying a thousand butchers they they're gonna uh, they're, they're they're putting in for and they're giving them a six months um a six month visa and then they can fuck off out of here right i don't think you know i just have this feeling yeah that i'm not sure whether or not they i mean obviously if they if you know if they offer really big money really really big money they might they might um get some butchers in but I'm not sure whether or not it's really a job that you're going to find again, yeah, that much British people want to train up for that type of job. Do you know what I mean? Them type of jobs, is, you know, them type of jobs out there, they're, um, it's, you know, you, you, you're you not going to find that many people. You're going to find probably, you know, if you go to a school or whatever, yeah, you, you'll probably find maybe one or two people in there that will say, you know what, yeah, I'll, I'll train up to do that. But you're not, I don't think you're going to find... Do you know what I mean? The amount of butchers and that that they need. I just don't, you know, I think they're going to be put hard pushed because I, I, I think that all of that, yeah, would be like a family thing where people, where people follow their, where people follow their parents and those type of things. And because we've, we've had, you know, we've had people from like, other countries doing these, these type of jobs for us for all this time. I just think it's going to be quite difficult right, to train up British people to do these kind of jobs. Right. So once again, you Brexiters, you see how they've got to go with their tail between their legs to the Europeans. And let me just finish up right here, right? That the PM of Finland right, has done, said, you know what? Even though you brought this motherfucking shit upon yourself, right? The EU will step in with aid. I swear to God, right? I'm going to laugh in every single Brexiter's face. <laughs> That's how I'm gonna laugh in your faces. If we if one piece of aid has to come here from the EU, mm, 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 I'm gonna cry with laughter. Right? And just say how stupid do your sovereignty as this racist motherfuckers feel now? Anyway, guys, this is by any means necessary. I'm the MC John Ribs. It was really nice to speak to you guys. Comments below.